Welcome to Symbol Tech Working Bench. Hello guys. Welcome back again. So for this purpose I need to show the video from my dining table because I need more space to lie down all the components for this uh, automation security and fire system. So I prepare everything on the table and I'm gonna make a demonstration how that works. So as you can see on this corner over here I have the bathroom one but it's open because I need to use this NRA food antenna like in the main panel because I still have two pieces here that they have issue they are not working so I run out of these small ones so I have in those ones install it but those one doesn't work and I cannot use them so I might need to order some replacements for this so that's why I'm using that one open because I don't have space how to close it because the antenna then I have the power supply that uh, brings out uh, 14 volts 0.5 that feed these batteries and I can see it's 13.1 over here in the battery the battery then power of the power supply and the power supply divide the voltage 5 volts 5 volts 5 volts and 3.3 that needs to have the main board so this one is powered with 5 volts Arduino Omega 5 volts NRF and ESP8266 with 3.3 volts and then the relays the three relays on the on the back are the 12 volts so it's powered straight away from the battery then another 5 volts that goes to the card reader 12 volts go straight away to the mp3 reader plus uh, amplifier for the speaker then i have everything wireless all the all the modules like kitchen module living room module bedroom module children bedroom module and bathroom module and as you can see I also attach it lights over here so the first uh, demo it will gonna be with my mobile controlling the lights so I'm turning on my app and this is my app so it's telling me also that the humidity and temperature sensor they are reading 22 celsius and 43 percent humidity and then let's uh, let's make a, a demonstration how that uh, works if i play and i click on this one it's telling me that it's on online just a second, I need to bring also the touch panel for this uh, touch screen. And I'm gonna try turning on the kitchen. Lights are on in the kitchen. So you can see also the, the voice is telling me that the lights are on in the kitchen. I'm gonna turn on the living room right now. Lights are on in the living room. Then I'm gonna turn on in the bedroom. Lights are on in the bedroom. I'm gonna turn on on the children's room. Lights are on in the children's room. I'm gonna turn on the bathroom. Lights are on in the bathroom. And then I'm gonna turn it off. Lights are off in the bathroom. Children's. Lights are 
Lights are off in the children's room. Ben, bedroom. Lights are off in the bedroom. Living room. Lights are off in the living room. Lights are off in the kitchen. Then let's try to do the same with all the main touch funnel over here. Let me just zoom a bit. So that's the main panel and the touch screen. So let me go first to the setting to show something. So in the settings, as you can see here, I have everything lined up. So main panel, kitchen, living room, bedroom, uh, bedroom to like children's room and a bathroom. So in order to see if they are communicating each other, you just need to go to this page and then try to pass on the front of the motion sensors to see if uh, if it's coming connected. So I'm gonna start to press the, pass my hands in the front of the sensors. So I'm gonna start with the kitchen one. How you can see now it's telling me that communicate the main panel with the kitchen. I'm gonna pass to the living room. Ah, it looks like bedroom catch me <laughs> instead. Ah, look, catch me also the living room. And then uh, children's uh, room. So now it's also children's room connected and then uh, the last one I'm gonna do on the bathroom. So you can see also the the bathroom now is connected. So then I'm going back to the home pan home page and then I'm going to lights and also here we can control the lights from the from the main panel. So I'm gonna start to turn on this one. Lights are on in the kitchen. And then let's go to the next one. Lights are on in the living room. Next one. Lights are on in the bedroom. Next one. Lights are on in the children's room. Lights are on in the bathroom. And then turn it off. Lights are off in the kitchen. Lights are off in the living room. Lights are off in the bedroom. Lights are off in the children's room. Lights are off in the bathroom. So all this working. Now I'm gonna make a demonstration for the how the the smoke sensors are working. Now I'm gonna make the demonstration how works the the fire the smoke detector system. So practically this is the siren for the smoke and this is for the siren for the intruder system. So let's uh, make some smoke with this one. Let's go back to the main corner. So I'm gonna do first to the kitchen one. I detected smoke in the kitchen. So you can see. It's telling me that detects smoke in the kitchen. Let me just silent. And now there is a time of like one minute and a half or two minutes until the, the full bell, like this one, it will gonna start to make noise. So that is the time to go to investigate what's going on, why is detecting smoke. So let's wait. <coughs> Come here and reset the panel. Then let's try to the next one, which is the living room. So I'm 
going to pass a little smoke on the sensor of the living room. I detected smoke in the living room. As you can see, smoke in the living room. We can come to to silent it, and you can go there. If you don't, there is no fire, you go straight away and uh, you reset the panel. But for demonstration, I will not reset it yet. Now we're gonna let go the full bells again. Let me just go to the panel where you reset it to have time to don't make too much noise now. I can see it's working good. Then now I'm gonna do the same also for the next one, which is bedroom. I detected smoke in the bedroom. So you can see also the bedroom. So let's see now I'm going to see and I don't fire, see any fire. I come to my panel, I go to setting, silent, home. I'm going to the reset panel and I'm resetting like that it will not go this one in full bells. And here I have also, I'm going to bring more near than at the end to show you all the notification that is coming on the screen. Let's try now to the children's room. I detected smoke in the children's room. Detect smoke also here. Let me reset it. I will not leave any more to go for the full bells because I already demonstrated that one. The bottom one it will be a bit more not that much sensitive because let's see in the bottom when you take shower there is a lot of uh, steam so I don't want to turn on the alarm because of the steam so it will gonna take more time until it will gonna detect the, the smoke so let's stay more there. I detected see? smoke in see, the bathroom. It's a bit longer. It's a bit more longer on the on the bathroom one. That's because the reason of the of what I say, in the bathroom you take shower or that one and you get steam so I don't want the fire, uh, the, the fire alarm to turn on every single moment that I'm taking a shower. So I just want to show the notification that come also in the screen. See if you can see it's telling you the kitchen smoke, what time, everything detailed. Oh, well, yeah, it's not yet set up the time correctly in this one because I need to, to set up before that I'm gonna install everything. But anyway, it's telling you the timing and everything at what time it was uh, it was the alarm uh, detected smoke. And then uh, let me also now make a demonstration for the for the motion sensors. So I'm gonna bring again the camera out to catch all the table to show how that works also. So, for the security system, I might need a bit to move this uh, sensor a bit, one a bit like that, that they are not uh, interacting with each other. So I'm gonna try those two to be like that a bit, and those two more like that, another one like that in order to don't catch me separately. So for the for the security system alarm, so as I said this box it will gonna be the car reader that will gonna be mounted on the outside from the house on the front door. So let's see I'm gonna scan first my my card already this video you see it. If you don't see it I'm gonna make I'm gonna Put the link in the comments below uh, where I demonstrate how the cards reader are working all together. So I'm gonna try with mine. Have a nice day, Tony. So Bye. That is greedy when you when you leave the house. And let's see now. 
you are not not at home so someone maybe coming into your house and let's say it's broken the, the window from the kitchen I detected motion in the kitchen so he's telling you that there is motion in the kitchen here as well he's telling me on the mobile he sent me notification that someone is moved inside my house and then as I said he's staying like that also here like a few seconds and then we're gonna go with this one full bells just to let's wait and then as I said the main the, the, the reset panel has a has to set up a pin uh, in order to get to that page to reset the, the panel to don't uh, make uh, noise anymore so let's try again to go to all the sensors have a nice day Tony bye so now let me try to pretend that I'm coming in from the living room I detected motion in the living room so as I say in the living room the same it's gonna stay that 30 seconds and then we're gonna go to the full bells But as I say, I need a pin. Now it's just the default without pin. I need to insert the pin in order that it's my own pin. Have a nice day, Tony. Bye. I detected motion in the bedroom. So let's wait. That 30 seconds. is working most of the bedroom. Let's try the let's try the children bedrooms. Have a nice day Gretchen. Bye. So let's try to this one. I detected motion in the children's room. So you can see now is the children's room. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it also to go on the full belts and then I'm gonna reset it. Actually, I have also a demonstration here when it's going full belts. I, I, I can go to this button and stop the alarm. Whatever I say, like, I'm not work and the alarm still ringing at home, I can override from, from my mobile straight away. So you can see now it's not ringing, but if I press again, it's ringing. So I can override that uh, that from here. So let me reset the panel again. So I reset it. Let's try now with the with the bathroom one. Have a nice day, Christy. Bye. So, let's try. I detected motion in the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom is uh, connected. So the same. When it's ringing, I'm gonna show how to over how we're gonna how can I override this uh, this alarm. come home and then I'm gonna just go here and reset the panel and then I'm gonna 
Also here, it's a lot of information on display. Just I'm gonna bring the camera near to to the display to show that information. So yeah, as you can see, I have all the information here. It is telling me everything what happened, at what time was uh, an intruder motion detected where in the kitchen or in the bathroom or so on. And then here on the on the scrolling test is telling me the that alarm who activated the alarm and also let's see if someone come home and deactivate the alarm so let's try first let's check also the other car have a this nice day olympia is activated Bye. right now and then if i go coming home let's see and here you can see now it shows me down the green one at what time and who deactivate the alarm who come home and then also here i have also a grinding when you come home just wait a bit because it's not coming straight away it's give you the time to accommodate yourself in the house welcome back olympia how are you okay then let's see if you read everything and everything is happened you just pass the master card and clear all the display so all the details they get cleared and also in your mobile it's everything cleared so also as i say i can control from my mobile or also from here the temperature inside the house so if i go to increase the temperature you're gonna notice uh, how a click for the relay because I don't connect yet the, I need to connect it to make all the wire with the with my boiler so just let me go up to 22 degrees so 19 degrees 20 21 22 so now listen the click and now it's telling me that the, the boiler is on is coming here on and if I go below it's off the same also from the main panel I can do that thing so if I go to thermo and I'm gonna just increase from here and you heard the click the boiler is on and if I go below the boiler is turning off And also I'm thinking from the for the software that runs in the one for the bathroom to add also there another sensor like that the humidity and to set up also in the main panel here in the same way as the thermo also to set up uh, a controller for the humidity and to control me the the fun in the bathroom let's see when the humidity grows up like when you take a shower and a lot of steam is there to turn on the the fun to extrude outside that steam so the most uh, hard work was uh, to create the software for this one because here i have uh, created one software for there, 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 so there is five software, five codes, write it, then also one software for all this uh, display, because it's also a microcontroller that communicates with the, with the Mega, through, via serial word, so TXRX, so another software for this one in order to communicate with the base, then another software for the base and another software for the card reader in order that then I made them to communicate. So this one communicate via wireless through NRF24L01 uh, through each individual module and each individual module has a unique address that it recognizes which one is from that one that sends signals here in order then to send via TXRX 
to the display as well and the display to show me what's happening with each individual uh, uh, module the same also the car radar same communicate via software server through the base so also there I write another code and also in the main software I write the code that uh, the MVP3 player read the SD card in order to play the right brand that each individual motion is doing like how you see when I'm turning on a light it's telling me which individual light is turning on so I'm gonna do a quick so lights so as you can see I'm turning on the children bedrooms lights That's are right. on in the children's room so right, this one sent a data to the main pan uh, panel then the main panel send the data in order that there he's playing the brand that is connected to the bedroom the children bedroom and then the same when I turn on the lights off, are do not. off in the children's room I need still to add in the software that part of uh, that Arduino the mega it will gonna read the power that come from the power supply and in case that that one let's see it's uh, shut off to send me straight away uh, a notification on my mobile and also to display on the main panel display that the, the main power is down and also to notificate with the voice that the main power is down and is running only on the battery and also like that it's it we're gonna I'm gonna set up to leave like three to, from three to five minutes in case that if I am at home and the power is off I can go there and override to don't start to ring the full, full bell uh, like alarm because let's see maybe some some thief they are coming at home and it's cutting the power like that the power is off and they come in inside the house so in, also in that case the sensor maybe they will not work but they work because if you can see I put a backup battery for each one individual so this one is a backup for that one backup for that one backup for that one and so on so I have battery for each individual for backup for the power in case the power is cut and the same also I'm gonna put also in the in those softwares because I have one software running here another software running, another software so on and I'm gonna put also there a software to order uh, to, to read the, the power that charging the battery and in case that that power is off to send me a notification here to tell me oh the module from the kitchen it's running only in the in, on the batteries in the, in the, the 220 volt is cut off and so on so I need to work still in that uh, that uh, software and to add that voices also to tell me that the, let's see it's cutting off the power on the the bedroom one so if you're gonna send me a voice the module uh, the bedroom module is running only in the battery so in this case I can go to check what's happened with the, with the, with the power supply with the transformer so the only things that I still need to do also is uh, to make a, a box for all this uh, main uh, main board and because it's great if I had a 3D printer but I don't have any 3D printers to, to make one so I need to try to make it from plastic to cut the pieces and to make the place where the screen come out and then to make the place where this potentiometer for the for the speaker come out and also the to sit inside also the batteries and then just to come out of the wires inside the house installation to connect the the sirens and then also to bring the cable from from the main panel to the to the boiler switch where is the thermo thermostat and then I'm gonna be pretty well with that before to install it inside the house I'm gonna 
might leave it like that for at least 48 hours to run on the table to be sure that there is no any problem with the power supplies because they are quite small and I want to be sure that I'm not mounting in the house and then I can like just fry it then I need just to make another also a small transformer that is take me out 14.5 volts in order to have the power that charging the battery because actually it is running on the battery is not running on the power just the power feed the battery to be always uh, full charge it so yeah this is the video for today thank you guys I hope that you don't get bored and if you feel uh, to ask me something and um, just feel free leave your comment on uh, the comments uh, box below and uh, please don't forget to subscribe like the video if you really like it and then uh, activate the notification bell in order to receive the notification when I'm gonna post a, a, a new video thank you guys and see you for the next video so the next more projects that I still have to run. This is one of the biggest ones that I want to install it in my house but I still have really tiny small projects uh, on the way because I have a lot of stuff that also needs to come, come in so yeah please don't forget to subscribe activate the notification bell and see you for the next video. Bye!